Today we're going to learn how to use the blue two switch to be able to run programs on the iPad, apps on the iPad. So the very first thing that you need to do is charge up your Bluetooth switch. Looks like this has a spot right there that you're going to put in your cable and connect it to the wall to be able to charge. Um, the buttons here will light up different colors, um, red if it's not charged and green if it is. And then the very next thing that you need to do is go to your iPad, um, find your settings button which has the gear on it and then go right to your Bluetooth settings and make sure that they're turned on. And the next thing that you need to do is look on your Bluetooth switch. There is a button on the end of your switch that says to pair. So you need to click that. And then make sure that your Bluetooth switch is turned on. So that's on the front and mine lit up because I turned it on. And then right away, your Bluetooth will be discovered. And then the very first time that you use it, you'll have to click to connect it. And mine's connected now because I've used that a bunch of times. So my switch is ready to go. So the next thing that I'm going to do is locate my switch applications. So I have them in my sensory folder. And the two that I've been using that I really like to use for students with cortical vision impairment are called Big Bang Pictures and Big Bang Patterns. So Big Bang Pictures we'll take a look at first. It pops up and every time that you use this you'll have to activate the switch. So you click OK and then down here in the bottom is settings. And then you can change the colors that you want to be able to use um, every single time to run this program and the background colors. I have it right now set for random colors and a black background. And the next thing that you'll need to do is click the switch access and then make sure that you're enabling your switch. And we're only using one switch, so you can click one switch. If you have two switches um, so that you can use a, a mover and a chooser, you can click two switches. We have one, so we're gonna do that, click out of it. And then the next thing that we're going to do, if you don't wanna use the actual blue two to switch hit and you have an external switch, so if you have a jelly bean switch or something else that your student really likes, you have to give it a, a plug in and you can do that right here on your blue two switch. So make sure that it's in slot one and then you can move the blue two out of the way and then just use your regular jelly bean switch or your toggle switch or any other type of switch that you'd like to use. So we're going to be able to activate our Big Bang Pictures app with this switch. So go ahead and we can start it. Tells us if you wanna exit that you have to put two fingers in the activity. And here's what happens. So the bus will give you an auditory prompt and in order to make the bus move and play music, the switch has to be activated. So you can hit the switch. And then the bus will wave. Moves, gives some motion. And then an auditory prompt will come. And then how much wait time you need to be able to hit the switch. Activates the program. And the same thing works with the Big Bang Patterns. Whenever you open it up, it will allow you to go into settings down here at the bottom, and then you have to hit your switch access and enable your switch to be able to use it. X out of that, and then there's four different choices of kind of shapes that you want with this program. Okay, gives you the auditory prompt person hits the switch. Music plays. And then it stops. Gives you a quick auditory prompt. And there's some different settings that will allow you to change that and customize it for whatever you'd like. Um, and that's how you're going to be using your Bluetooth switch to be able to activate an app on the iPad.